Welcome back friends to your Tech Handy channel. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to timely get new video updates. In this video, we will see how we can install Ubuntu 23.04 version on VMware Workstation Pro 17 and we'll also see how to fix the install user login issue. You can download an Ubuntu ISO from Ubuntu official website. Make sure to save it to a memorable location on your device. For this tutorial, we will use the Ubuntu 23.04 release. If you are installing an older version of Ubuntu, such as Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, you will find that the visual presentation of the installer is different, but the overall flow should remain the same. Wait for the ISO file to download. Once the ISO file download is complete, open VMware Workstation Pro. First, I will show you the user login issue you can face while installation. Attach the ISO file and define admin account credentials. You will not be able to log in with the username and password we set up at the start of installation. Now let's start installation again. This time make sure to choose the second option, I will install the operating system later. Select the guest operating system as Ubuntu and assign a meaningful name to the machine. Allocate resources as per your requirements. Open settings and attach the ISO file, before powering on the machine. You will notice installation options screen this time. Select first option, try or install Ubuntu. Once the installer has initialized you will be invited to choose your language. Next, will be presented with the option to try or install Ubuntu. If you click Try Ubuntu, you can preview Ubuntu without making any changes to your PC. To proceed, click Install Ubuntu. You will be asked to select your keyboard layout. Once you've chosen one, click Next. Next you will be asked to connect to a network, this will allow Ubuntu to download updates and third-party drivers during installation. Once you have connected to network, or chosen to proceed offline, then we can continue to the installation setup. Next, you will be prompted to choose between the normal installation and minimal installation options. The minimal installation is useful for those with smaller hard drives or who don't require as many pre-installed applications. In other options, you will be prompted to download updates as well as third-party software that may improve device support and performance, for example, NVIDIA graphics drivers, during the installation. The next screen will allow you to configure your installation. If you would like Ubuntu to be the only operating system on your hard drive, select Erase Disk and install Ubuntu. If your device currently has another operating system installed, you will receive additional options to install Ubuntu alongside that OS rather than replacing it. Advanced Features allows you to encrypt your entire drive using LVM. To do this open the Advanced Features option before proceeding to the above screen and select Encrypt the new Ubuntu installation for security.
Regardless of the option you select, clicking Next will take you to a summary of your installation configuration to give you a chance to confirm your setup before clicking Install. Select your location and time zone from the map screen and click Next. Next screen, you will be prompted to enter your name and the name of your computer as it will appear on the network. Finally, you will create a username and a strong password. You can choose to log in automatically or require a password. If you are using your device whilst traveling, it's recommended to keep Require My Password to Login enabled. Finally, you can choose to switch your desktop from light to dark theme. Sit back and enjoy the slideshow as Ubuntu installs in the background. Once the installation has completed, you will be prompted to restart your machine. Click Restart Now. When you restart, you will be prompted to remove your installation media from the device. Once you've done this, press Enter. Once machine comes back after reboot, the welcome widget will help you with some additional setup options, including Connecting your profile to various online accounts. Attach an Ubuntu Pro free personal or paid subscription to apply additional security patches to your device. Activating location services. Downloading additional apps from Ubuntu software. Thank you for your time and watching the video. I hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe to support us.